It's the end of the year, but the start of a new project. Today we're bending tubing. It's gear one. Hey everybody, welcome to Gear One. I'm Ed, I'm Noel, and today we're starting a new project. Very, very exciting. Um, now we've built stuff before. Uh, you may have seen our video, episode seven, uh, The Crucible, when uh, you saw us racing um, the two vehicles that we've built in the past. Well, this is a brand new vehicle. Um, just to give you a little bit of context, I am actually in school uh, getting my mechanical engineering degree, and this is my senior project. Um, I'm I've already got mine, so. <laughs> yeah, this, guy, this guy's been had his for a long time, he's old. So what we got here is the material we're gonna be working with. So this is a uh, one and a quarter inch diameter, uh, 0.095, 0.096? 0.095, yeah. 0.095, uh, 4130 steel, Mali. Um, and uh, we're gonna be using this for our next project. And today, what we're gonna be doing is using this tube bender, a very good uh, JD squared tube yeah. bender. So we got the JD squared Model 3 out again. Um, you can see we got it mounted on this mobile platform. Um, it's got the hydraulic setup so that, uh, you know, we don't have to waste any time or effort and we're just really generally lazy. So yeah. we've got that to help us uh, with the bending. Yep. So essentially uh, we have about, so this right here is, a, is a, about a four foot piece. And then we have these two very, very long eight foot pieces. What we're gonna end up doing is we're going to split these eight inch, eight, eight foot pieces in half, giving us five four foot pieces. And we're going to measure the ends, uh, bend them to shape, and then um, we'll have uh, a relatively finished product. The next step is going to have to be uh, notching them, then cutting the tail ends uh, to, to measurement, then uh, they're gonna get welded. So that's all gonna be um, future stuff. But today, it's all about bending. So here is the tube uh, bent end, uh, post bending, and I got a little speed square here. And as you can see, uh, it's, it's pretty pretty close to, to 45 degrees. I would say it's well within a degree, maybe even like half a degree off. Um, so I would say this is pretty successful. We're going to mark the other end, and then I'm going to give it a try. So here we have the two pieces of bent metal. Now, as you can see, they're pretty, it's, it's pretty accurate. Um, if I butt these together and squeeze here on this end, there's less than, there's really less than about a quarter of an inch gap over here across. This is roughly uh, about 30 inches or so from, um, for the straight section. Um, so I would say that this is pretty symmetrical. In fact, you can barely see, it's like less than an eighth of an inch um, on this end when you squeeze it. So I think that these uh, uh, came out pretty accurate. Now it's time to cut the other piece in half and then mark it and then put it back in the bender.
have the two outer pieces, uh, inner pieces actually, of the frame uh, bent. They're very, very close to 45 degrees, but more importantly is symmetry. And if I butt up this curve here, I squeeze this end, I get no play. So these two pieces are probably within several hundreds, if not thousands of an inch um, accurate to each other. So very, very symmetrical. I think these pieces actually came out a little bit better than uh, the first two outer pieces that we bent. So very, very good news. So we've set the bender up for uh, our last piece of tube. Um, and it's gonna be for the front section of the frame. Now, this is the more complicated bend because it's two bends on the same piece along the same plane. What we did was, uh, you can ignore this, that was just a little mistake on my part measuring. Good thing I got stopped. And um, because we wanted to be a little bit more accurate, we actually scored uh, the metal and we measured with uh, a metal ruler instead of just a little tape measure. So it's indexed over here on this end for the bend. And then after the bend is complete, we're going to uh, remove the piece and reinsert it to do this bend. Where all the other angles were 45 degrees, because we were trying to get a little bit more um, room, leg room in the front, we're actually gonna go with a 50 degree bend in the front, which means on uh, the dial, we're gonna have to go to about 56 degrees. All right. All right, well, here we are. Finished products for the day. Um, we so. The general shape of the vehicle is going to be uh, a front par, you know, uh, we've been calling it part A. Um, two parts that sort of narrow and make a bit of a neck, those are part B. And then two other pieces that sort of come on the outside, and we're calling those part C. And as you can see, we have all five of the pieces very uh, uh, laid out with care, like so many Christmas gifts. Um, any thoughts on the day? Yeah, well, uh, the first bend was um, was all right. I mean, it was well within tolerances for what we needed, um, mm -hmm. but um, not as good as the second set of bends. Oh yeah, and the first set of the first bend might have been a bit off because we had a huge length of tubing, pretty much like six and a half feet, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> hanging off one yeah, end. Yeah, so that that makeshift that makeshift little uh, <laughs> purse that we created was a uh, yeah. Was that the probably wasn't the best thing. It probably affected the accuracy somewhat, but yeah. you know, still we were within half a degree. Yeah. of where we needed to be. Uh, the second set, which you did entirely, like came out spot oh, yeah. on. You know? In fact, I even squared up, before we put it on the table, I squared up all four pieces, and uh, the three pieces after the first, all were, were just, you know, almost perfect. You know, they were very, very square. You could squeeze either end, and it wasn't really moving at all. So yeah. I think it really was just that first piece that we had to sort of uh, just figure it out. Yeah. And that could have been averted if we had the time or patience to make a, a test piece or even just spare material. We didn't, and it's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm not disappointed with that result. I, I, think, I think it's close enough to being symmetrical that it's not gonna cause us any problem. Yeah. yeah, new bending die worked out great. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, as always, the JD Square Model 3, great bender. If you're ever looking for a bender, man, this is my first time using this one. This thing is great. Super easy like, to figure out to use. Um, um, and ideally, you'd want a, a hydraulic jack, yeah. Because I can't think of anything that we could fix this to, like like to the earth, uh, to make it uh, <laughs> rigid enough. This is mobile. We this can move so, this. This is so easy. You could you could. We can move this. this your... We can move this to any place in the garage, which is like you know really really helpful. Yeah. And even then, if you if we just had the if we use the bar. We could have just done this manually. It's a lot of effort. Yeah. But um, this this is incredibly versatile, and that's actually the reason why I endorse it because um, it was very very reliable, very very accurate, um, and um, very easy to use. You do have to read the instructions, um, and it did help that you had done a few bends before, so you could um, speed bring me up to speed a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. Um, but this is great. Uh, I don't know when the next time we're able to use it again. I don't know when we're building another vehicle. I don't know. We'll see. We still yeah. have to build some components for this vehicle. That is true. And then some of those so, may have to get bent. So And they will this, come, come from this. Yeah. This, this might come uh, make, make a visit again. So in terms of the next step of this build, um, we're going to take this to uh, uh, my school's lab and use uh, their vertical mill to do the notching. It is a lot more accurate than if you just had uh, a notching tool. Um, um, we don't have a vertical mill here, um, so that's the reason why we're doing it over there. Uh, and hopefully I don't screw this up. 
I mean, oh. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you don't, because I really don't want to have to use more material. It's, uh, yeah. but hey, that's that's part of the learning process, right? Um, and any any other thoughts before we go sign off? Uh, no. I, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, the welding is going to be uh, some some fun stuff. You'll 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 definitely see some uh, the light show. Oh yeah, it'll 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 be good. Hopefully we don't ruin uh, our cameras. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, until next time, I'm Ed, telling you to stay safe, and I'm Noel, telling you to stay fast. See you next time, everybody. <laughs>